I've been taking photos with vintage lenses for the last decade, and for a lot of that time I was focused purely on the outcome and image making aspect. I used what I could find cheaply and didn't get caught up in status, specs and hype around which glass is superior. I went through stages of using Nikon, then Canon, but never favouring one or noticing a particular difference in character. To be honest, glass bored me until I found an OM-10 with a standard 50mm lens and then everything changed. I fell hard for Zawiko. Olympus have been assigning their name to the Zoico range since 1936, everything from SLRs to rangefinders and even half-frame cameras. Assessing the best of anything in photography can become pretty dividing, but I am willing to go out on a limb here and cite 100% with Zoico glass being a cut above the rest, and here are the reasons why. So a lot of people like to use vintage glass so they get a unique look and character to their photos. This is something that I hadn't really explored or noticed until I got my OM-10, shot a roll through it and got the photos back. I was so in love with the way that the 1.8 50mm lens had rendered the reds, not bleeding or oversaturated, but still really vibrant and natural looking. The way this lens had made everything look was just so perfect. The transitions of the in and out of focus areas just had this really pleasing, creamy nature to them. This roll just totally blew me away and sold me on vintage glass. That paired with how much I enjoyed the ergonomics of the OM-10 just made it a sure thing for me. I shot some of my best work ever recently with this camera and some CineSil 400D. If you want to check that video out, I will link it below. And I really don't think that I would have got these results had I not used the OM-10. I didn't know this then, but there would be more Zoico gear in my future. Early one morning, I had an email from a small camera company based in New Zealand telling me how much they loved my content and expressed that they wanted to collaborate and maybe send me some gear to try out. I get a lot of emails from companies wanting to sponsor or collaborate the channel and nothing is more exciting than hearing from a business that is in film photography. So I got to take my pick of all the amazing fully tested gear on the Selling Cameras site and I knew that this Zoico 50mm 1.4 lens would be on my list. The team also sent me this super awesome Minolta AFC camera that I haven't tried out yet so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that analog adventure. So generally I shoot from f8 and above as I want a really flat image with everything kind of in focus and I'm not too concerned with bokeh or bokeh like my partner is who shoots a lot of portraits and in kind of like low light conditions. But considering how much I was loving the 1.8 Zoico lens that I already owned, I was super keen to try out the 1.4 and see what the difference would be. Shooting with this 1.4 lens made it so much easier to focus as it was a lot brighter through the viewfinder and that kind of pushed me to shoot a little bit differently. Even trying to take a photo of my son who is rarely still, I got this amazing picture of him. Check out how sharp the focus is and how I landed it just on his face at the perfect time. I'm so happy that I got this image of him. Getting this shot of him and nailing focus has really given me the confidence to maybe try more shots like this in the future in my photography. So it's amazing what new gear can do to push you in new directions. This day was unfortunately quite overcast. So I opted for some Ilford FP4 as I find black and white kind of lends itself more to overcast days. But I'm really looking forward to trying out a roll of color with this 1.4 lens and seeing if the reds pop like they do when I use the 1.8 lenses. <laughs> 
So super grateful for the chance to try out this lens and it came in this cute little pouch for safe traveling. All the gear on the Selling Cameras site has been fully tested by Cameron and his team of trained technicians and comes with a 30 day warranty or first roll guarantee so you can buy with confidence. Owner Cameron was a student of the camera rescue program run by Nico which I'm sure a lot of you have heard of and if you'd like to hear more about his time there and his backstory on starting the business then you can check out the interview I did with him a while back on my podcast I will link that below he dives deep into how to keep your film cameras alive for longer and how to take better care of them why it's so important that we support small businesses that are rescuing these cameras and repairing them and then making them available to new people or seasoned shooters as well his website is designed by his girlfriend and it's super awesome and fun. So definitely go check it out. There is a little chat section as well if you have any questions and you can get in touch with Cameron over on his Instagram page as well. He will be able to help you if you have any questions on what camera would be right for you. And they also take custom orders as well as Cameron sources cameras from all over so he can get his hands on something that maybe you have been looking for for a while. He has also just dropped some merch on his store, I'm pretty sure, so check that out as well. And he has dropped a bunch of new cameras, including the very iconic RB67. So check out the link in the description. Alongside their film cameras, Olympus also built their reputation making scientific equipment like microscopes, and they brought that precision into their lens making. This demand for precision undoubtedly trickled across to their vintage Zoico range. You won't find a single lens in the lineup that isn't built to a very high standard unlike some of the cheap plastic kit lens offerings available today. Olympus simply just didn't make any subpar or average lenses, and I think that this really puts them above every other brand. This attention to detail and quality really makes them a cut above the rest. So for me, the 50 millimeter focal length is a great one for me and definitely favored in my OM system lineup, but that's not all they have to offer. An extensive range of primes are available, including a 28 millimeter F2, 350 millimeter F2.8 and everything you can imagine in between. I had to read the lenses and the specs of the lenses because numbers scare me. But let's not forget the other range of Olympus gear that featured this phenomenal glass. I recently borrowed a pen FT from a friend and was blown away by the images, even in half frame format. Just one roll through this pen FT got me asking for one for my upcoming 30th birthday. The pen I used had a 40 millimeter 1.4 lens and I can't believe that such a small compact combination would produce such sharp and clear results. I was lucky enough to be gifted this Olympus trip from a very kind viewer in Germany and whilst I don't really get along very well with rangefinders, I did enjoy using this and it definitely did not disappoint in the lens department. Let's not forget the Mu series that is extremely sought after and when I was researching, it doesn't specifically say that it's the Zoico brand of lenses, but I'm pretty sure it's got the same technology behind it. Those cameras are pretty hyped, and I would say that like a lot of other hyped point and shoots, it's definitely due to the lens. There's just so many different ways you can get your hands on this Zoico glass, no matter what your style, what kind of camera you want, or what your budget is. So definitely seek something out. So normally this is where quality products have a real con and downside to them. They're really expensive. You watch so many YouTube videos where people go on and on about how great something is and then they get to the price point and you think, well, I just don't have that kind of money to spend. Well, not with the Zoico line. A lot of people believe that Zoico can hold its own against Leica glass, which is a pretty big call. But if people are even saying that, it proves that Zoico is at least a contender against something like Leica. Whether you agree or you even care about pitting these two companies against each other, uh, I think that it's proof that the Zoico lens is a very good budget option in comparison to something like Leica. 
Zoico Glass is a great option for those of us out there who want to buy vintage lenses that have quality, character, and sharpness, but are on a budget. You may pay four or five times more for a Leica lens that has the same specs as a Zoico lens. So my question to you would be, are you getting four or five times better quality out of that Leica lens than the Zoico? You tell me. If you are loving this video and the photos that I've taken, definitely hit the like button so this video can spread to more people. <laughs> oh my God, this is, this is so heavy. <laughs> Safe to say you won't see me wandering the streets with a setup like this. <laughs> so I often find vintage SLRs to be heavy and bulky and cumbersome and kind of just like a drag to carry around. Even if I like the results and the user experience, it does put me off grabbing it off my shelf. My OM-10 with either of the 50 millimeter lenses is just such a lightweight combo to carry around. And I still get the pleasure of using a vintage SLR with all the like pleasing ergonomics and that vintage glass look. Size is a huge determining factor for me in what I choose when I'm gonna go out and shoot as I really don't like lugging a lot of stuff around or being kind of weighed down. I like walking for a long time and just like shooting and maybe stopping and having something to eat. So I just really don't wanna be carrying around like this huge camera. So using the OM-10 with these like small lenses is just so perfect for me. And it's just such a like small compact setup, but I am not compromising on like quality or sharpness or user experience. My partner and I did a little research at home and decided to weigh some of our cameras on our coffee scales to see what the real difference in size was here. So the weight of an OM-10 with the standard 50 millimeter lens, which is my kind of setup, comes in around 645 grams. Something like a Pentax K1000, just the body alone is 600 grams before you even add a lens. And my partner's favorite, the Pentax Spotmatic, with a 50 millimeter 1.4 lens was weighing over a whopping 900 grams. So definitely not the one for me. Even just checking out the size difference here, you can see that the OM is definitely a smaller, more compact um, option. And I think one that your neck and shoulders will thank you for. So some pretty solid reasons to go with the Olympus system and then getting the pro of the Zoico glass as well, especially if you've been thinking about investing in Leica or Leica glass, maybe take a look at this range and see if you can save yourself a few dollars and go for this because honestly, the results are just amazing and I am not a lens person, as I said at the start of this video. Lenses normally bore me, I'm just interested in the results, but this has really pushed me into finding out more about Zoico glass and got me interested in trying these different lenses. But what do you think? Have you tried both Stoico and Leica and can actually compare them? Comment below and let me know your experiences. A huge shout out to the team at Selling Cameras for sending me this lens to try out and then make this video with. I had so much fun using it. Definitely check out their shop and support a small business that's keeping film alive. If you wanna see more photos from my OM-10, then check out this video here for more results.